Hey, how's it going? It's Grant with the Garden of Eater. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a little shrimp pest called the scud. And yeah, that's right, I said it, shrimp pest. And especially this one right here in front. And that's right, she is buried. She's holding eggs. And I'll get back to that in just a second. First, we have done the first water change on the simple Neo Caradina setup. Uh, while it was halfway empty, I decided to move it. This gives us space behind it to do the simple Caradina shrimp setup. And we'll do that either in the next video or the video after that. We've got it right next to Shelby's Nano Tank with the golden back orange, uh, yellow Neo Caradina. Sorry. Got some of them eating. They always take the good food to the back. So, back to what the video is about. And the main predator right now is, of course, the buried ones. There's a couple right here in front of us. These guys reproduce so fast and so quickly. And what makes them so deadly is when the females release the babies they are very nutrient deprived they've exhausted themselves into taking care of the young and protecting the eggs and also it takes a lot of nutrients just to produce those eggs in the first place so she's basically starving and deprived after she's just released the babies and she needs to get that nutrients back especially the protein and there's really no faster way for them to get protein uh, other than by eating other crustaceans. And they can eat up to 30 Neocaridina babies in one night. And these are newborns. There's hardly anything to them. They haven't even molted, molted yet. They're squishy, easy to snack on. And I, I didn't think anything of it. I think for my first year or two of shrimp keeping, there was these guys in just about all my tanks. If you go to any local pet store, these guys are just about in every single planted tank. Um, at the time when I was first getting into the hobby, I didn't know what to look for. And I thought these guys were great. They eat the dead plant material. And I thought they were kind of like tank cleaners. I thought that anything that was living uh, part of the ecosystem in the tank was beneficial. However, I did not know that they ate babies until somebody did a talk at our club. I then went home and started to evict all the scuds out of the tank. It took me some time. And once I did, I quickly learned that it was definitely taking a toll on the baby survival rate. When I took the shrimp out, the baby survival rate went through the roof. I, I was already having really good numbers on breeding the Neocaridinas. Uh, however, when I took the scuds out of the tanks, uh, I was to the point where, okay, now I can start selling some of these. I've got so many, and it really set me forward on breeding. So uh, I did a lot of research on what to do to get these guys out of the tank, and I really didn't find anything that would kill the scuds and not kill the shrimp. Uh, they're basically like the same exact thing. They're, they're both shrimp, they're both crustaceans. So it, it makes sense. The only success I had on getting them out of the tanks was manually catching all of them. I had the most success in the morning before sunrise. I quickly turn on the tank, grab my net and catch as many as I can. The light kind of startled them. Some of them even swam straight up. It seemed like they were swimming right into the net trying to get out of the bright light. And at the same time going right into it. So uh, it, it was tedious. It took maybe 10 days to 14 days to get the scuds out. Um, it, it, it's a pain, but trust me, it was worth it. These might not be an issue for most people but for a breeder somebody that's focusing on the highest amount of babies possible you definitely do not want these in your tanks uh, to prevent these from getting in your tanks you want to check all your plants 
I usually dip all of my plants regardless of if I think they have them or not. Uh, there's a couple different dips you can do. Some people will use like a 10% bleach uh, solution. Uh, others will use alum. There's a couple other products like plant dips and stuff you can use. I personally like to use a product called No Planaria. I just take a gallon of Varro water and about five scoops of the No Planaria. The bag comes with a little tiny scoop and I let it sit for about 30 minutes, sometimes even overnight. The plants don't really take any damage and anything that is on the plants are usually dead. The only thing that usually survives is snail eggs. Sometimes it kills them, sometimes it doesn't, but it seems like they're pretty impossible to kill, especially these pond snail eggs. So uh, if you have them in your tank, you know, it's not 100% fire and throw it away. You, you can get these out of your tank. Don't give up. You just got to stay on it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for future content. It's time to go to bed, shrimp.